consider what emotional stress your dog may be going through to cause such reactions as running away at the sight of nail clippers, hiding, pulling away, struggling and even biting during nail trimming. These are behaviours a dog adopts to avoid something and it's usually something they dislike and can be very scared of. Imagine being held down whilst a procedure you hated was performed on you. No amount of struggling helps you escape, so you finally stop. Not because you now enjoy it, but you are either exhausted or you simply freeze as a way to cope. Even though you're no longer struggling, you still feel the fear. Wouldn't it be great to change fear to anticipation and expectation? All those behaviours to try and escape or avoid nail trimming would no longer be needed. What if your dog looked forward to having nails trimmed, or at the very least, no longer feared it? It can be done, with respect for your dog's emotional well-being, safely, without stress to either of you. It's well worth the initial time and effort to make this routine care enjoyable for both of you. Here's how Dancer was helped to enjoy nail clipping, taking gradual steps and using positive reinforcement with clicker training. In the end, she couldn't wait for nail clipping time. Dancer would give her paw, but as soon as the clippers came near, she pulled the paw away. Because she enjoys learning new tasks and is used to clicker training, I chose to make a training game out of having the clippers touch her paw. I gradually touch more times and hold the paw for longer. She picked it up quickly and no longer pulled away, and I could touch for longer. holding the paw, I'm just holding my palm out so I'm not holding it there. If she wants to take it away, she can take it away right there. Right. I'm just touching, getting her used to the sound as well. Some pressure on the tip of the tank. That's it. And she is holding it there. That is actually really amazing. She is so quick. Right for oh, Mummy wants <laughs> right for, sorry. Her <laughs> me, I don't mind. But mummy wants right for and left for look at that. And I'm like, oh good girl. Okay, and I'm like, oh. I went to the next stage of slipping the nail between the guillotine blades too quickly. Dancer wasn't ready for this and pulled away. I went straight back to just touching the nail for a little longer. Your dog will let you know how fast to proceed. Let's watch that bit again. Might have gone a bit too fast, so I'm just going to keep with the touching. Fun game, isn't it? And that's what it is. This is the keep your paw there for as long as you can, and I'm gradually increasing the time. And you can do whatever you want. I mean, I'm touching it over and over again. This is just because it seems to be working with her. I could even keep it there for pressure. Time out, I did it again, went to the next stage of applying pressure too quickly. Dancer's body language and reluctance to offer her paw again lets me know she's not comfortable. We take a short break and then try some other paw handling games. Here, I'm gently squeezing her paw and separating each toe to get her used to the feeling. Then I squeeze the nail, so she's used to a similar pressure which will occur during clipping. I try to press the nail with the clippers, which she wasn't ready for earlier. She can handle it now, she just needed a little more time. Dancer's guardian did one more session later that day. Dancer was very quick to learn that clipping nails was no longer scary. About 12 minutes in total. Look who doesn't mind having a nails clip now. On the couch. <laughs> right, Paul? Great. Yeah. Yep, so on you've done couch. about six minutes. About of, five or six of, minutes of, last night on the couch. Okay. All right, so this you're going to show us where you're up to now, yep? Yep. Beautiful. Okay. Great. I'm just going to go straight into it. Yeah, you just do what you're doing. That's fine. 
good. Fantastic. So you just clipped her nail then and she was fine and didn't pull away. Fantastic. Great. Yep, I certainly do get excited every time I see the dramatic changes that occur with gentle patient teaching and avoiding force. It's such a great feeling of achievement for someone to see results and to have had fun getting there. Good That is wonderful. Oh, that was an even better one. Great. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's right, and that's what you do. You just back off a bit and give more treats and go back to something that she's more comfortable with and then try and clip again. And eventually, you'll be able to clip a couple of nails in a row before even giving a treat. Yep. So, yeah. Dancer shows how quickly nail trimming can be made enjoyable. Remember though, all dogs are different and the approach should reflect the dog's amount of fear and go at the pace the dog can easily handle without the need for punishment or force.